Yo, what's up guys? I'm Robert Z1 and I'm back with another Grand Theft Auto online video. In today's video, I will show you how to get inside of the police station after update 1.33. Okay, let's get into the glitch. The first thing you need to do is go to this location on the map. Find a truck. Drive the truck to the back of the police station. Go through the gate and drive down the stairs. Angle the truck. Have the left front of the truck point to the corner of the building. Now walk your character to the corner of the truck and keep jumping. Your character should fall down and wall breach into the police station. Now you can explore. To get out of the police station, join any random job from Martin, then back out. In today's video, I will show you how to get inside of the Humane Labs after the new update. Let's get into the glitch. The first thing you need to do is go to this location on the map. Then you need to find a fire truck. To get a fire truck, all you have to do is blow up a car and wait for a fire truck or pull up your phone and call the fire department. Once you have the fire truck, have your friend drive you to this location in the Humane Labs. Get on the back of the fire truck and have your friend drive backwards and smash you into this gate. You should be pushed into Humane Labs. Now you can explore. To get out of the Humane Labs building, all you have to do is pull up your phone and join a mission from Martin, and then back out. In today's video, I will show you the easiest way to glitch inside of the Space Docker Parts Garage solo. The first thing you need to do is go to this location on the map. Find a trailer that looks like this and go to the back. Climb to the top of the roof between these two boards. Pull up your phone and accept any random job from Martin. If you do not have a job, call Martin and request one. When the job settings load up, quit as quickly as possible. When your character loads online, you should be inside of the Space Docker Parts Garage. This glitch can be helpful when running from players, cops, or just trolling friends. In today's video, I will show you the easiest way to glitch in and out of Michael's house from story mode solo. The first thing you need to do is go to this location on the map. Make sure you set your spawn location for last location. Walk through the front gate, go to the back of the house, up the stairs. Move your character up against the window in this location. Pull up your phone and accept any random job from Martin. If you do not have a job, call Martin and request one. Once the settings load up, back out of the job. Keep pushing forward on the left stick and keep pressing A to run forward while you're in the clouds. When your character loads online, you should be inside Michael's house. To get out of the house, repeat the same steps. This glitch can be helpful when running from players, cops, or just trolling friends. In today's video, I will show you the easiest way to glitch in and out of Franklin's house from story mode solo. The first thing you need to do is go to this location on the map. Make sure you set your spawn location for last location. Walk through this door, go downstairs where the pool is located. This is where you'll find Franklin's bedroom. Move your character up against the window in this location. 
pull up your phone and accept any random job from Martin. If you do not have a job, call Martin and request one. Once the settings load up, back out of the job. Keep pushing forward on the left stick and keep pressing A to run forward while you're in the clouds. When your character loads online, you should be inside Franklin's house. To get out of the house, repeat the same steps. In today's video, I will show you the easiest way to glitch inside of Lester's warehouse solo. The first thing you need to do is go to this location on the map. Make sure you set your spawn location for last location. Walk to the back of the warehouse, climb up this ladder, then climb up the ladder again. Once you're on the roof, walk to this location and crouch down next to this window. Pull up your phone and accept any random job from Martin. If you do not have a job, call Martin and request one. Once the settings load up, back out of the job. When your character loads online, you should be in Lester's warehouse. This glitch can be helpful when running from players, cops, or just trolling friends. If you do this glitch in a day, you can actually see three women working. In today's video, I will show you the easiest way to glitch inside of Trevor's trailer from story mode, Solo. The first thing you need to do is go to this location on the map. Grab any random car off the road, smaller cars seem to work better. This is the corner you'll be driving into. Make sure you move this tire out of the way, it will affect the glitch. Drive the car into the corner of the trailer and garage and jump out the exact same time when the car hits the corner. Your character should glitch out and end up in Trevor's trailer. This glitch can be helpful when running from players, cops, or just trolling friends. In today's video, I will show you how to get inside of the Split Sides Comedy Club after the new update. Okay, let's get into the glitch. The first thing you need to do is go to this location on the map and have a helicopter to spawn your parachute. Get inside of the helicopter, then get out. Find a car and drive it to the back of the police station. Drive the car up against the bridge wall and climb on top of the car, then climb into the bridge wall breach. Jump off the bridge wall breach, release the parachute, glide straight up the alley, and hold the right and left bumper to slow you down. When you start to approach the comedy club location in the alley, push forward on a left analog stick while holding the right and left bumper. You will notice your character will slow down, almost stop. You should drop inside of the Split Sides Comedy Club. Drop your parachute, then go into first person when you land. Now you can explore. You can't go through any doors because you'll fall out of the Split Sides Comedy Club. This method will get you inside every time. I did it five times back to back. In today's video, I will show you how to get inside of this secret police station mugshot room after the new update. This is the room where you change your character's appearance. Okay, let's get into the glitch. The first thing you need to do is go to this location on the map and have a helicopter to spawn your parachute. Get inside of the helicopter, then get out. Find a car and drive it to the back of the police station. Drive the car up against the bridge wall and climb on top of the car, then climb into the bridge wall breach. 
jump off and release the parachute, then glide into this spot. Drop your parachute, then go into first person when you land. Now you can explore. Today's video I will show you two different methods to get inside of two different Fleeka banks after the new update. Now let's get into the first glitch. For this Fleeka bank, go to this location on the map. Climb on top of a car and stand in this spot on a roof. Request any job from Martin and join, then back out. You should be inside of the bank. The next Fleeka bank is located in this location on the map. You'll need a fire truck and a friend. Get on the back of the fire truck and have your friend back up and ram you into these doors. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you guys in my next video. The who flat top rules in 89. The who flat top rules in 89. The who flat top rules in 89.